Hello, for this video we are asked to find, use the parallel axis theorem to find the mass moment of inertia uh, of this slender rod with mass m and length l about the z-axis at its end. Um, so for this one we are going to use the central or the mass mo moment of inertia tables um, but that gives us the moment of inertia I Z Z about C. And so we need to adjust that using the parallel axis theorem. So for that, I Z Z about what I'm going to call point O over here is going to be I Z Z about the centroid plus M R squared. And R is the distance between the Z axis going through the centroid and the z-axis over here at the origin point. All right, so I, Z, Z, O is going to be equal to uh, the mo ma mass moment of inertia about the centroid. And if I look that up in the table, I should see that it's going to be 1 12th M, um, and it's got length L, L squared uh, is what we have. And we also need to add in plus M and our distance R here, um, if it's the center of the central this rod, um, it's going to be one half of the length is the distance between this z-axis and this z-axis here. So L over 2 squared. All right. <clears throat> so I Z Z O is 1 12th m l squared and this is going to be turn out to be plus one quarter m l squared and simplify that one step further i z z o um, is going to be one twelfth plus, plus one quarter is going to give us one third m l squared and that's about as simple as we can get that formula there um, so using the parallel axis theorem, I can see that if I move from the centroid out to the end, I go from 1 12th ml squared uh, for my mo mass moment of inertia to 1 3rd ml squared for my mass moment of inertia. Uh, so that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.